Internet and welcome to this week's Plan With Me video. I'm just gonna let you guys know that if I sound weird or I get really loud and really soft all of a sudden, it's because I can't hear out of one ear right now. And I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I'm gonna get it sorted out. But yeah, my voice may go in and out of being loud and quiet, and that's why. Yeah, let's just get right on into the Plan With Me. This week's spread is gonna be this one here. It is from a company called My Own Island. I've never ordered from them before. I'm trying to branch out and try a bunch of these sticker stores. Now I've been placing like one or two orders here and there randomly with stores that I find that aren't charging exorbitant rates for shipping because they give you the option to have no tracking, which is what I prefer. I get the option to have tracking for large orders, but if I'm only ordering like one or two kits, I don't really need tracking. I, at least I don't need to pay for it. So I like kind of having that option. And so this was one of the shops that where the shipping wasn't that expensive. Um, I think they're based out of North Carolina, USA. I think I ordered from three different shops, but because it's from the US, it trickles in. So I'll get like the orders, I'll place an order and then I'll see the kit maybe a month later. So it's very hard to kind of time up how I can get them all together for a whole video. So you might see a bunch of new stores appearing and there won't be a whole video for it, but anyways. So of course this is spring floral because we're in spring. This week is okay, I think next week which is the week coming up, is actually going to be quite warm in Melbourne from what I've seen and the temperature is like 27 degrees like for three days in a row or something like that, which is kind of like a heat wave given that things have been so cold in the winter. So those are all the stickers. So this is the week we'll be planning in. I'm actually filming on the Tuesday, so it's the 10th right now. I did intend to film on the Sunday, but the timing just didn't work out because I had to do a bunch of other stuff, and so I'm filming now on Tuesday. So just to give you a rough outline of my very exciting week, not very exciting, um, Mondays were Japanese lessons. Monday I actually had to go to the doctor about my ear. I'll explain it during the plan with me. Tuesday or Wednesday is right now seeming like big filming days for my planner channel. Don't know if that's a permanent thing, but that just seems to be how it's naturally working itself out. Thursday, I've got dinner with Anthony. Friday is my official kind of design day, Friday the 13th. I just realized it's Friday the 13th. It's kind of like my favorite day of the year. I'm gonna link her store down below. She's currently about to go on hiatus on her sticker shop, so everything is 30% off, which is an amazing deal, so you definitely need to check it out. Saturday, we're actually going to do a day out, which I'll get into in the plan with me. And then Sunday is hopefully filming this plan, the next plan with me. I'm not sure if Sundays are gonna be designated filming days just because it's a little bit harder in terms of like, now that I am, now that I do have the five days a week, filming on the weekend tends to be a little bit harder in comparison. Like in the past, it made total sense, but now because I get up, so, like I get up at 6.30, on weekdays still. And so I'm like revving to go, I've got time to film. But on weekends, because we do tend to sleep in a little bit more, the light goes and yeah, issues. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how things go. I'm still allowing things to just sort of figure itself out and settle and get a rhythm. Anyways, I zoomed in because I'm gonna start doing my bottom strips. I'm going to do the weather stickers above too. I, I think I have some activity boxes here as well. So I'm gonna do those activity boxes and I'll be right back. So that's all done. I'm gonna get straight on to Monday. I'm gonna mark down my Japanese lesson. That just feels like the first thing to mark down. Yesterday's Japanese lesson was a lot of fun, but very frustrating because it was basically a listening class. It was a lot of listening to some audio recordings of like conversation in Japanese and then kind of like responding to questions or answering questions about what was said, which is great. I love doing stuff like that because it really stretches your mind, but <laughs> I couldn't hear because my ears blocked. So it was a little bit frustrating on my behalf. There, I'm trying to figure out, I have to-do lists every day now because I do have stuff to do every day. I don't know whether I should put the to-do lists at the top of every single day. It's just that this kit doesn't have glitter headers, so I just don't know how I would manage this. But I think I will put a to-do list here. This is just my way of keeping it straight, although my planner is getting super bulky now. So yeah, I don't know, for some reason, so I've been having like, my ears is, one of my ears, my right ear has been blocked kind of 
ish for the last three or four weeks and I've just been kind of ignoring it because I figured that when it actually gets really bad I'll go see a doctor. Well it did get really bad so I did have to go see a doctor in the end. He wasn't able to fix the problem so I went on Monday which is my doctor's appointment. So I'll put this here, this full box. Just there. Cool. And then I'll just mark down that I did go see my doctor on Monday. And uh, yeah, he wasn't able to help. So I'm just taking a few ear drops at the moment. And then I'm going to go back again on Wednesday. So I'm just looking. Is there a doctor's... Oh, there it is. It's like doctors, dentists, that sort of stuff is are not icons I typically use. So every time they appear in kits, I'm like, well, it's kind of a waste because I'm not actually going to use it until you need it. And then you actually really do need it. So today is Tuesday. I'm kind of working bottom up, which is a bit different to usual, but... It's nice to change things up occasionally, so I have my to-do list for today. And I intend to use today mostly to do a lot of filming. The lighting is good today. It's a nice day today. It's sunny, so um, I'm getting a lot of great natural light in the room. So every time it's like good weather and it's nice sun and temperature and stuff like that, I get super motivated to film videos, whether it's inside doing planner videos or wanted to go outside, although I'm not going to go outside today. <laughs> I'm a little nervous to be going outside when I can't hear because I did drive to the shops earlier today. I got super nervous because I can't hear very well, so I get nervous when people talk to me or if I can't hear cars beeping and stuff like that. So I drove just a little bit and decided, you know, I'm not going to drive anymore until my ears are sorted out. So I'm just going to stay at home for today and then hopefully tomorrow my ears get fixed and then it'll be okay. I'm gonna put this full box Okay, what I'm going to do, I want to cut this full box because I think if I put it down, I'm going to get too much space on both ends. So I'm going to cut it here. And then I can move this here and then I'll put this one closer to that box. And I'll have this gap in the middle, which is not a big deal because then I will zen. <laughs> then I will put a half box to cover it up. There we go. So, Wednesday. What am I doing on Wednesday? I'm going to put another to-do. Not to-do. Put another today label up here. And uh, I'll put a half box this time. Although, I'm going to do that. Oh no. To clean. Actually, let's use this. This would be cool. Just do a little bit of housekeeping gonna do a little bit of cleaning initially and then I will actually get some stuff done. I'm gonna use this bright green. I need to wipe this out. Can I just say that these pens that I'm using, this big white out exact line up, love this so good, so easy to use and I bought you can buy them in packs of two or so at Office Works. So if you're in Australia and looking for a good whiteout pen or tape this is really good it just glides on so easily and I don't even think they were that expensive because I do a lot of orders online with office works and I just feel like the delivery is so fast so accommodating I don't know I just really love shopping at office works I love actually going into the office workshops because they have those sections for pens it's just so exciting it's kind of like being a kid in a candy shop if you're a stationery or planner person yeah so yeah, Wednesday I think I'm going to dedicate mostly to work, to doing a little bit of initial cleaning and then just working on stickers because that's something I really need to get done. Then Thursday, Thursday's going to be another work from home day. I'm going to put a to-do list at the top. I'm not actually sure what Thursday will be because now that I am working kind of for myself, I kind of base the next day off the previous day or the previous two days to see what hasn't been done, what needs to be done. All I know is that Saturday is when this Plan With Me video goes live. So I usually will have that edited beforehand. So Friday's going to be more of an editing day for me since I'll be designing with Violet. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So Thursday, I've got dinner with Anthony. I'm going to, I'm trying to figure out where to put down the full box first. Oops. Just looked at there. Um, I'll put the full box here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, great. Because then I'll just put down a half box. And that can be for Anthony's dinner. Great. So Thursday's done. Friday I am going into the office. Kind of. 
I'm going in, but I'm mostly going to go in and see Violet because we do our design days that day. So usually what happens is that I will sketch out a bunch of designs. I'll come up with the concept because I kind of know what I want to see in the shop. Then I head over to Violet's place and then I kind of give her a brief on what I'm expecting and then she'll just start drawing. And then what I do is I just sit there with my laptop and keep editing videos. So for all intents and purposes, this is one of those days that I'm not really sure how to record, record it in my time planner because I'm um, not my time planner, my bullet journal because I am time sheeting everything right now. And when I say time sheet, I mean I'm recording where all my time is going just so I can make sure I'm staying productive. And it's kind of like, well, I'm designing, but I'm also actually editing videos actively. But the whole point of me being there is so I can give instant feedback to Violet as she edits or as she draws so she can just make sure she's on the right path and um, it just makes the design process a lot faster because in the past we would do it all online and it's a very slow process that's why we want to do it together on a Friday in the same room so that makes it much more productive so I'm actually looking forward to it I find our Friday so far to be really productive okay so now we are on to the weekend and we're going out this weekend for the first time in what feels like forever just because the weather has not been great for going out taking pictures vlogging outfit photos all that sort of fun stuff that Violet and I used to do all the time so we're actually going to be doing that this Saturday I love this weekend banner just kind of like what I'm gonna do is put our to-do lists down at the bottom oh I cannot remember the exact name of the place we're planning to go but it's essentially kind of like a I think it's like a flower slash fruit farm which is some of our favorite places to go because firstly it's so scenic so it's a great it's just great for taking photos because all of us are like such shutterbugs but it means that we can take if we want to do any outfit photos we can go there but also for the most part it's just really relaxing because it's usually out closer to country Victoria so it's not as busy as you know, I spend a lot of time in the city, which is just very noisy and just hustle and bustle. So it's nice to get out where it's nice and quiet, it's relaxing. I think the place we're going to is very close to Yarra Glen. I wouldn't say it's a winery sort of area, but I will say there's a lot of wineries in that area. If that makes sense. I think what I'm going to do, because it's just so flush here, I'm going to put some of these, put some of these like strips here, just to kind of... Fill it up. I'm not, I'm not specifically going for a no white space look. I think it's just kind of turning out that way. But yeah, so that should be a lot of fun. We haven't done that in a long time. We used to do that a lot in previous years. I'm not sure if you guys have been watching for a while my main channel or my vlogging channel, then you would have seen that we have done a lot of sort of day trips in the past. And we just mostly go just to have fun and shoot videos and stuff like that. So that's essentially what we're planning to do on Saturday. It's so, this looks so busy with a lot of stuff on, but I kind of love it. So that's the Saturday and then Sunday, maybe film a plan with me. I'm not really sure. I don't mind getting up a little bit earlier to film plan with me's. I don't know. I just, I'm comfortable with that, but I'm very conscientious of the fact that Tobias doesn't get to, like me getting up early on these days is not the same as me getting up that same time to go to work because I know that I'm working on my own things, so the feeling is just very different. It's non-comparable, in my opinion. Whereas I know that when Toby's gets up this time during the weekdays, he has to go to work, so it's a lot more stressful, I would find. Unless maybe you love your job, then maybe it's not stressful, but I think for like virtually everyone I know, having to get up early to go to work is not the same as getting up early to do your own work. It's much more stressful, and it puts a lot more pressure on yourself. So. I want Tobias to sleep in on the weekends if he can because he loves sleeping in and it's a great way for him to like rejuvenate, regenerate his body, that sort of thing. So if that happens, I feel bad waking him up or filming because I have to do a lot of talking and it's not like the filming room and our bedroom is in the same room, but they're quite close so he can hear me and I don't want to disturb him. That's one of the reasons why I'm not super keen to be filming on the weekends now because of that. This looks so crooked. Why have I not figured out a good way to do this yet? I think these stickers are removable by the way. They come out really easily, which makes me happy. Like, at least they're very forgiving. So I'm just going to put this here. There's no quote box and I finished this sheet. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to, like, I'm looking for the step sticker, but there's no steps. So I'm going to go this week just to imply that it is for steps. 
down to record my steps. You know what's really weird? Since working for myself and not going to work, I'm, I'm walking a lot more. I don't know why, especially because I spend quite a bit of time at home. But I suppose it's when I go out, I do wander around a lot more. I guess I have more time, like, in the sense that I'm not as, like, rushed as I used to be. So maybe I'm just exercising more in that sense, which is a good thing, which is a really good thing. I'm just going to put these habit... No. What I like to do... I'm going to put this other one here, but I'm not sure. I'll just put work down. I'm not sure if I want to track work. I haven't been doing individual hydration just yet. I've stopped doing that for a while, just in favor of trying a few other things to see what is actually beneficial. And then there, and there's just a little bit left, so I'll get one of these strips just here. I know you don't really need to do this, I just kind of like to do it for the sake of completion because then it just feels very even. <laughs> the kit is essentially finished. What I'm going to do is fill it out. I'm going to keep this rolling and speed this part up so you can watch it for yourself. So yeah, I will be right back. <music> the entire spread I think that's all I'm gonna add today and I'll just add to it as I go along oh and you may have noticed I've started using some different pens I started really getting into fountain pens and I'm just experimenting with two that I have I've got this one and this one this is ultra fine tip and I think this is like a medium to normal fine tip I'm not sure but as you can see it's to me this is quite thick um, I'm not used to having writing that's so thick and the ink kind of bleeds a little bit into the paper as you write it so it does appear thicker after you finish writing it. So yeah, not sure how I feel about that one just yet. Maybe this pen isn't suitable for this particular sticker paper. This one was really good but it was extremely thin and I didn't think it was going to show up on camera which is why I switched halfway through. I'm still experimenting. I'm really loving the fountain pens. It's just there's a certain ease to how it writes and I don't know it's just kind of fun but that's pretty much the entire week I don't think I took too many external stickers I got this one from Lily Pink Prints for Japanese lessons and I've got Violet this is actually Violet's own sticker of Bergamot that's how I represent Violet in my planner this one is a really old camera sticker from Two Little Bees but yeah there's not a whole lot at the moment hopefully I'll add more I really hope you guys enjoyed this week's plan for me video let me know what you guys think if you like this video give it a like if you don't want to miss any videos then be sure to subscribe this is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet. <music>